Hi guys, welcome to the XX Style channel. I'm Joelle. This is my first video, so thank you so much for watching. And um, today I'll be doing this look right here. And this is my favorite kind of colorful, smoky um, night out look that I always go to um, when I feel like being vibrant or just a little bit more colorful. And don't get me wrong, I do love a neutral smoky eye, but I like experimenting with colors and seeing what I can come up with. So this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, also, please keep in mind, I will be uploading videos every Monday, so just keep a lookout for that. And I'll have all the products that I used on my face listed down below. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye. Alright guys, so here I have my face half done, and I'm going to use my other half to show you guys exactly how to achieve this look. So let's get right into it. So here I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, I'm just putting it all over my lid. And I'm just basically using this so I can make sure that the eyeshadow is really vibrant and the color really pops. So I'm taking this flat shader brush just to smooth out the Jumbo Eye Pencil that I use. Um, I just want to keep blending it so I can make sure that I have a smooth surface for me to apply the eyeshadow on. And I just want you guys to know there's no such thing as over blending. And also if you feel like you want to add a little bit more, go ahead. And just the key is to just blend, blend, blend and make sure that you know there is a smooth surface. You can never go wrong with blending. That really is the key to making sure that you know you're putting on your eyeshadow correctly. Okay so here I'm gonna do my highlight which I took an angled brush and then I dabbed it in concealer and for me I actually like a natural highlight so that's why I use concealer instead of a shimmery eyeshadow or white eyeshadow and I use a concealer that's about one or two shades lighter than my actual skin tone which is if you want a, a natural highlight that's the best way to do it and in this case one of my favorites to use for my um, brow highlight is the Sonia Kashuk um, Hidden Concealer Palette in 07. So that would be my recommendation if you guys want to try it. Um, I highly recommend it. And I just feel like a natural highlight just looks so much better. I took a flat shader brush and this one that I'm using is actually the dual ended brush from I believe it's the Naked 2 palette. And I took this gold color from the Vice 2 palette from Urban Decay. And this is actually one of my favorite palettes of all time. I mean, I love all the naked palettes. I do love, you know, neutral colors. But this palette is filled with, you know, bold, vibrant colors. And you can just do so many things with it. Alright guys, so then I took one of my pigments, which is from NYX. It's actually one of their loose powders. And this color here is called Yellow Pearl. And I chose this just because I wanted that gold to be a little bit more yellow. And I wanted it to pop out a little bit more. So basically I'm just going to put it all over my lid and then just blend it out. And then right here after this, I'm going to start on my crease. So I'm using this blending brush that I got from Sephora. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's basically just a fluffy blending brush. And I'm using a sort of um, cherry eyeshadow. It's kind of like cherry and pop pink together. Um, for my crease just to blend out those harsh lines and on your crease you definitely want to start out with a little bit of eyeshadow on your fluffy brush and then just build up the color to how exactly you want it with the crease it's really important that you blend so there aren't any harsh lines between the lid and the crease and that's when I said the over blending comes in handy to make sure that it's really smooth between those two 
And now I'm working on the outer V corner of my eye. And here I'm using a dark brown matte eyeshadow. And I actually also mixed it in with a matte black eyeshadow. And I like to build up the color. Um, it just depends on how smoky I like it to be. And for this particular look, I like it to be mildly smoky. So if you're the type that likes bold smoky eyes, then you can actually just use a matte black eyeshadow. And then you'll be able to achieve that look with just that. After I do that, I'm actually going to touch up my crease color with the kind of cherry hot pink eyeshadow that I use um, just to blend it in some more. And then also I'm touching up my lid with the um, yellow pearl a loose powder that I use just to blend in the lines a little bit better. Alright guys, so here I'm just going to fast forward through my um, foundation routine. I'll most likely do a separate video on how I do my full face um, routine and then also maybe a separate video on how I highlight and contour. So just so I don't bore you guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through it. And here is how I like to clean up my um, shadow. Basically, I take just an angled brush, the same one that I use to do my highlight for my brow bone, and I dip it in concealer as well, the same concealer, which is about a shade or two shades lighter than my actual skin tone. And I kind of just drag it upwards, aiming towards the end of uh, my eyebrows. And then I feather it down just to blend it in. And that way you have a clean cut um, look and it's not so messy. Now I'm doing my winged liner, which I actually did write an article about on xxstylemag.com, which I will go ahead and put a link down below. It's a step-by-step -step demo on how you can achieve it if you don't know how to do it. I did recommend for beginners to use a felt tip um, liner, which is so much easier to control and fix in case you do mess up. Here I'm using my holy grail liner of all time, which is by NYX. It's the NYX liquid liner, I believe. Believe. and it's so affordable um, you can get it for I believe $2.99 or $3.99 so that is definitely my recommendation for you guys um, if you guys have never tried it before I'm putting shadow underneath uh, my lower lash line um, I've used two colors the first one in the inner part of my eye underneath my lash line I used a Kind of like a sea green color and then on the outer part I used a teal bluish color which is actually so beautiful it's one of my favorite colors and they're both from Urban Decay I'll actually list um, the products down below so you guys can know the names of it it came just in the individual shadow so it didn't come from any palette or anything For my tear ducts, I'm using my, um, it's actually also my Holy Grail um, eyeshadow and it's one of the loose powders from NYX called Nude Pearl and I just love it because it just brightens up my eyes and it's so perfect and shimmery that it's my go-to for almost every look that I do. Here I'm doing my mascara and I actually use two types of mascara which will be listed down below and which ones I use and then I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this and um, while I finish doing the rest of my face which I'm applying my blush and then also um, contouring my nose and then you guys will go ahead and be able to see the finished look.
Okay guys, so here is the final look. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and thanks again so much for watching. And be sure to tune in every Monday and I'll see you guys next week.